Welcome to Sunday, September 10th. It's a short, short thing. Oh, no, the, the dog's not going with us. So, yeah. it's a big crate. That's why I said, make sure you have room in your vehicle for a big crate. Um, so anyway, we're dropping, giving Noodle to Chelsea and Megan. For the week so she just got off work and we're meeting her and then hitting the road you ready to go play with four other dogs oh and we'll see how you do around a cat at this point no you didn't it's the first beaver nugget from the first bag of beaver nuggets ever bought at the Sevierville Bucky. Did y'all see that vlog? We were at the grand opening and Tom bought the very first. 6.01 a.m. I just ate the second beaver nugget from the first bag of beaver nuggets ever bought at the Sevierville Bucky's. I'm about to eat the third beaver nugget. 8.08 a.m. and we're hitting the road. That's so funny. Okay, what does it say, Lakeland? His phone just said Noodle was left behind. Because of Noodle's tracker. And speaking of Bucky's, yep, that's right. We're going to stop at the Spearville Bucky's. Well, 9 38 on a Sunday morning, and Bucky's is packed. The last time we were here, this mural wasn't finished yet. I love it. The first stop that Tom made this morning at 6.30 was to drop Dale off at my parents' house. Wow. Front parking. Gas was, well, there's pre... Put premium in this is three ninety nine. No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's what you paid this morning. You paid three sixty nine or three sixty seven now. Three sixty seven. So Lakeland's decided he's just gonna sleep while we're in there. I can't even get him inside yet. He's already looking at stuff. I'm on the search for cashews. Was just in St. Augustine and Daytona Beach and they had no cashew items. And it's like, are, is there a shortage of cashews? Like they didn't have the dark chocolate cashews that I love and they didn't have the everything but the bagel cashews. And I'm not seeing, I see almonds, espresso beans, raisins, but no cashews. So y'all comment, like, is there a cashew sh shortage? Oh my gosh, I just found them. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, and they're both here. Better than the bagel and dark chocolate. I'm happy. Neither Tom nor myself remember these green and red lights above the stalls at the grand opening, so we don't think they were there so, then. Tom, she says this isn't amazing to her. <laughs> there was nothing in there I could eat. They didn't have any bean and cheese burritos left, so we're going to find me a McDonald's, so I'm going to drive while he eats. All right, so the car wash is still not open, but they have made a lot of progress on it. 
Are these all employee cars where they have to park? We keep seeing a lot of these. Ever since like the Pigeon Forge area. Muddy, big tired. Things like these. <laughs> what do you call those? They're not doom buggies. Doom? No, they're not doom buggies. Not doom. doom. <laughs> I'm so ta I'm so warped. It's not a, a. I don't even remember what they're called anymore. I keep thinking everything's a doom buggy. A, a lot of them are <laughs> side by sides. What? They're called side by sides? That's what I've heard people who Dune have Dune them call them. Dune is the word. Dune buggies. No, those aren't dune buggies. <laughs> but that is the correct term I'm thinking of. That's what you were thinking of. It's not right, but it's what you were thinking. Right, of. it was what I was thinking of. There are things called dune buggies. That's where the name Doom buggies came from. No, I I never made that connection. Side by side? Why would they call that a side by side? I don't get it. Because they're, you sit next to each other in them. Then why would what we're riding in right now be called a side by side? Because that's not what people who buy these call them. We just gained an hour of our day. I, to, which is really going to be sucky coming home. But I feel refreshed. <laughs> so... Just went into a different time zone. We're not we're not to Nashville yet. Matter of fact, we're not even quite to Crossville because our next stop is Crossville, Tennessee. Guess See? what we're doing there? Buckies. So was it should be. Well, it's 11:11 our time at home. Exit 320, the Crossville, Tennessee Buckies which I was hoping was going to be a little less busy. <laughs> hmm. Uh, it doesn't look like it. And gas here is the same price as in Sevierville. Is the last time I'm ever nice and or courteous to a woman at Bucky's. I'm coming out of the bathroom, she's coming out of her bathroom. You know, we're getting there at the same time. And I slow down and stop so that she can go first. And do you know what she says as she's going by me? She looks right at me and goes, Go heels. <laughs> rude. <laughs> so Lakeland did his shopping since he didn't go into the other one. You got all all your snacks and your drinks ready to go? All right, let's go. Hit the road. So I guess it's my turn to drive. We have an hour and 40 minutes to our next destination. We are about an hour outside Memphis. Or not. I know Nashville. Oh man, there's some huge metal sculpture right down here, but we don't have time to go see what it is. It actually looks like a plane crash, but that's not it. Um, because we are meeting somebody in Nashville. So we're on a time schedule. I think it's like some sort of like war memorial. Ah, it might be. Um, a sundial. Sundial, yep, yeah, that's what it looks like.
have two of the kiddos with us for a family vacation. So do you follow us on Instagram? Did you buy a toy in a convenience store? Yeah. You bought a car? Mm -hmm. And what is that car? Audi R8. Audi R8. So we just had a bite to eat at Arby's. Time to hit the road again. In and of itself, lunch at Arby's isn't that interesting. I, th I think you all really do need to know, though, that my wife and I shared a sandwich. What was it? A chicken turkey, a turkey. Tur turkey bacon ranch sandwich. And we discovered the true meaning of marriage, where I took the onions from the half my half of the sandwich and gave them to her, and she took the bacon off of her half of the sandwich and gave it to me. Now, wasn't that much more interesting than we had lunch at Arby's? I, I just thought that, like, you guys wanted, you know, if you're watching us, you want the in-depth things going on in our life, not just the superfluous, we ate at Arby's thing. So, yeah, that that's why. She looked at me funny when I did this. Looks like Noodle's doing just fine. Current situation. Tom wants wants to watch the football game. Who knows what Lakeland's doing? Who knows what Skyland's doing? She's watching the football game. But I found an antique store. Let's go in. Look at these little books. $12.95, $9.95, $19.95. Only bad thing about this is there's going to be so much cool stuff, but I'm going to have to go really fast because they're all in the vehicle, which means I don't get to spend a lot of time here. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, wow. The Vaseline glass. Some pretty pieces. Oh, look at the old Mickey Jack in the box. My kids would say that she was creepy. She's 85. I think she's cool. Oh, what other kind of cool ones? Oh, this one doesn't have any hair. $10. Oh, I could totally do something with her. Oh, and some of the best ones with the messed up hair like this. That's horrible. Okay, he just came in. He wasn't supposed to come in. She's perfect. She's all porcelain. Her hair's already missing, so I can always already work on the top of her head. It's absolutely perfect. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh, I love that Snoopy. Look who decided to join me. Oh, that's $200. How much is that? $500 for that diorama right there. I can't wait to show the kids the doll I got. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to be haunted. Why are you both shaking your head no? Because they're scary. I'm sorry. There's a lot of things I like about her, but this is just wrong. Okay, this is the most unusual welcome center we've ever seen. It just looks like a metal building. We're surrounded. Uh, it's a nice word. Yes. We are surrounded by solar panels. On this side, we have, you're not gonna be able to see because it's in the sun, but way over there are more solar pan panels. Well, if you're gonna have solar panels, they should be in the sun. Yeah, so we're definitely sense. in the sun. So really curious to see what is inside this building. And we have some more bee pollinator flower stuff. Yep. Some information about bees. Oh, we have some type of memorial over here. Oh, we have a doggy area. That's nice. 
that has a tunnel for dogs it has a little ramp for dogs oh and it has the agility thing it has those little poles where the dogs do this number over there i think i think the tunnel and the ramp also is up to agility, agility. Yeah. okay let's mile marker 44 Okay, so we have the regular pamphlet area. Oh, Tennessee Civil War National Heritage. Man, I wish I had time to read all this, but we have things we need to do. Oh, we're on a solar farm. Is that what this is? Yeah. West Tennessee Solar Farm. Okay. Display gallery. Ah, that's what we could see from. We could make out these shapes, but that was it. Exhibit entrance. It smells good in here. It smells. I don't know. I guess it kind of smells like paint. <laughs> oh, wow. It didn't do anything. Oh, a minute. Nope. Oh, it lit this up. Wow, this is kind of interesting for a rest area. Like, this is neat. Scotland's like, this is a lot of reading. It's educational. You come to a rest area to learn. Actually, this is really cool. Really good to go to the I wish we had time to do it. Can the sun help me grow? Like, here. There we are, parked over here. Oh wow. What? Look, it's Spaceship Earth. It is Spaceship Earth. Oh, Tom just lit up Spaceship Earth. <laughs> 